Olá a todos! Today I have a special episode about an amazing learning resource. Watching Portuguese TV shows with the support of Portuguese closed captions is a great way to learn the language. Most students struggle with oral comprehension with how we blend words together. Being able to listen to Portuguese and follow along a written reference helps you understand how we put words together and in the future will help you sound more like a native. As some of you might know, at the end of last year I decided to message the RTP's ombudsman to alert him about the lack of closed captions in RTP's Portuguese content. This would help not only the hearing impaired community but also the language learners. Many of you supported me in this cause and also messaged him. While his answer at the time was quite disappointing, I do believe that our emails and messages worked. I was pleasantly surprised to see in my recent research on the RTP Play website that a lot of the Portuguese shows do now have Portuguese closed captions. Be aware that this is mostly on their website, not on the app, but it's still great news for everybody, for teachers and students, for the European Portuguese dialect that slowly has more resources for those who want to learn it. Therefore, I'm very excited to share this video with you where I made a selection of different shows from RTP that include closed captions. Be aware technically that there is a difference between closed captions and subtitles. Closed captions are mostly intended for people who can't hear the audio. It may include mentions to the type of audio as well. Also many times it's not an exact transcript of what is being said, but still it's an awesome tool for learners. E agora vamos começar! Before we dive into our list of Portuguese shows, I wanted to mention that I did this research based on shows that can be seen in open channel abroad. As you probably know, many shows have image rights. Therefore, people that access RTP Play from abroad can't watch them. There might be more shows available if you have a VPN service or if you are in Portugal. The list I will be sharing is for shows that anybody can watch, both in Portugal and abroad. I am very impressed with how well produced the recent Portuguese TV shows are made. Many of them do have closed captions, but unfortunately sometimes not all episodes. Therefore, if you are a beginner, I would suggest you watch the episodes with closed captions, but if you are a more advanced student, you can even adventure yourself and try to watch the episodes without closed captions as well. See how well you can do since you already know the story and it might be easier to follow along. The show Até Que a Vida Nos Spare is a new show, but only episode one has closed captions so far. It's about the Paixão family that at the table one day remembers their grandparents and how they met. It then goes back in time to the 60s. The same happens with Crónica dos Bons Malandros. Only the first episode has closed captions. I just started watching this show yesterday and I love it. Based on the well-known novel by Portuguese author Mário Zambujal, this show is about a group of thieves and their plan to steal some of the famous pieces of Lalique jewelry at the Gulbenkian Museum in Lisbon. The show Filha da Lei has most episodes with closed captions, with the exception of the first. So in this case, you have 19 episodes out of 20 with closed captions. This show is about the murder investigation of a young teenager whose body was found near a river. Contam Como Foi is a TV series that focuses on a middle-class Portuguese family in the 60s. It has seven seasons and most episodes include closed captions. The series Miúdo Graúdo has 19 episodes and 11 of them include closed captions. This show is about a genius boy named Miguel that invents a time machine capable of bringing him back to the present 
20 years older. Next, we have the series Luz Vermelha, with a total of 13 episodes, and eight of them include closed captions. A show that takes place in the nightlife of a rural town in Portugal. Lastly, the TV show Circo Paraíso has a total of 13 episodes and six of them include closed captions. This show is about a circus that arrives at a small Portuguese village. The only TV series where you will find a whole season with closed captions is Quantum Como Foi. However, if you want to be a bit more creative in your learning, you can also watch a few episodes of different shows. I'm sure RTP is updating these files online and that more of these episodes will be available soon. Next, we have Portuguese movies. Most of the Portuguese movies on RTP Play do not have image rights for foreign countries. I was only able to access openly three movies that included closed captions. They were Do Outro Lado do Mundo, with the famous Portuguese actor Paul Pires, Escola das Artes, a movie about a mother with four kids that needs to find a solution for her family expenses. O Amor é Lindo Porque Sim is a comedy about a girl named Amelia that is dumped by her boyfriend on her birthday and loses her job as well. Next, we have soap operas. One that I recommended in my video tips to learn European Portuguese faster was O Sábio. This soap opera has 364 episodes. Therefore, if you're looking for a long story to follow, soap operas are great. I like to say that this type of show is great to learn daily expressions used in basic conversations like at the cafe, at the pharmacy, with friends or at work. Usually, the vocabulary used in soap operas is more basic and easier to follow compared to other shows. The other benefit is that you will learn a lot of cultural aspects since these shows represent many times the real lives of the Portuguese people. RTP has also another soap opera called Os Nossos Dias that was filmed in 2015 and 16 with over 300 episodes and only the first 30 are not available. All the others are online with closed captions. If you prefer documentaries, I also have some options for you. Um Dia no Ano de Pandemia is a documentary where the Portuguese shared small videos with their experiences during the pandemic. Histórias das Mulheres do Meu País focused on the stories of Portuguese women. If you prefer interviews, I also have an option. The show Primeira Pessoa is an in-depth interview by Fátima Campos Ferreira, a very well-known journalist. In her show, she usually interviews famous Portuguese people. Not all episodes have closed captions, but four of them do. If you'd like to learn more about Portugal, its cities, history, monuments, and museums, the show Visita Guiada is excellent. It's already on season 10, and many of the episodes have closed captions, especially season four and most of season nine. The others are a bit hit or miss. Lastly, if you like literature and books, the show Nada Será Como Dante is a great option. Most episodes of the three seasons have closed captions. I hope you enjoyed this video. I believe it will be a true game changer for many of you that struggle with finding European Portuguese content. I'll leave specific links and more information of each show with closed captions in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment. It really helps my channel. Fiquem bem e até a próxima!